I think it's on. How do I know if it's on? You pull it forward. Okay. Is There's no light? No light no, goes on? No light. No warning light. Carlene, they love your pants. You look so comfy. Right. I wish I had... They're soft, too. I, I wish I had... Um, what are the things? Scrubs. I wish I had a couple sets. No, I shouldn't have said that. Why'd you say that? <laughs> <laughs> I wish I had a couple sets of scrubs. They'd be yeah. fine. Yeah. Why, you just like the way they feel, or...? Well, it doesn't drag on my knee. Uh, I got a bad knee. Yeah. You need baggy right now? Is baggy that what you things, need? yeah. Baggy things. Yeah. Okay, we hear you. Hi. Ha <laughs> ha. It's on. <laughs> Rah. All Go. right. Uh, yeah, we're on. Hi. <laughs> Welcome to Thursday. Um, let's see. What did I do today? I did uh, a lot of pokey stuff today still. Um, pokies are doing really, really well. Sid, who was my star last week, kind of fell through the cracks today. He was so excited. Um, we went into Home Depot. I had to get some nails and washer, screws and washers for Bud. Um, so we went into Home Depot. There was a dachshund in there named Murphy, who once Sid saw the dachshund, because any dogs can go into Home Depot, um, so once he saw the dachshund, it was all downhill from there. I uh, couldn't get his attention back, jumping all around like a crazy little boy. So let's just say it was a quick trip to Home Depot. Um, the best one still in that group right now for the day is Washer. Um, Washer actually graduated to Costco today, um, which was great. She was super dog. Everyone couldn't believe how old she was. They were shocked. So... Everyone should be very proud of her. Is Walter still crying for Mariah? Is he still at the farm? Yes. Walter, um, I call him the Loch Ness Monster. He is so loud. And he followed me into the laundry room this morning when I went to put Magnus and Noelle away. And he tucked in right behind us and went nose to nose with her through the fence. And so she probably whispered all kinds of things into his ears to make him go crazy today. So all day, um, you can ask anybody here, he's been going absolutely nuts. You could probably look at the arena cam right now and I'm sure he's jumping all around. Um, guppies will go on overnights starting now. Um, they can go, not the gu oh, I'm sorry, I thought you meant the pokies. Guppies still need another shot, so they need to wait, but the pokies are all covered. They got all four of their C5 shots, so they're good. Um, they're happy bears with Legos. Oh, oh, hi, hi, Betty. Yeah, Betty, Betty wants to bring Ivy for a visit. They want to make sure no dogs are sick. We haven't had any sick dogs. No, we had one splat. Yeah, no but I wormed everybody today, so. Oh, oh, well. Yeah, so we should have nice, fun things for the poo pickers tomorrow. Um, <laughs> but, no, yeah, definitely bring Ivy down. We'd love to see her. I love to see all my graduates. Um, uh, let's see. How's Leroy? Leroy, they're asking about you, Brown Bear. He's good. Um, George was very pleased with his surgery. He just wants, don't wag your tail. Don't wag your tail. He just wants to make sure that he um, doesn't jump around too much, doesn't get <laughs> whacked in the eyes. Uh, we just don't want it to start bleeding because there's actually no stitches in there. It was, it was actually very interesting to watch. They put the drape over his face and then they clamped it and pulled out this giant, huge thing. It was really cool. And then they sat there and just... He just, like, razored it and oh. slowly just tugged and tugged and tugged. And then we had this huge piece. It was probably, like, the big one was probably, like, that big. I don't know if that really... I'd say the size of a quarter. Um, and then he flipped the cut edge, and he just cauterized it. So there was no stitching involved, which was pretty cool, I thought. Um, I don't know how many people like to hear gory stories like that. Um, how is Bentley? Bentley's good. He's resting comfortably. Um... He seems to like all of his attention, he I does. think, from everybody. <laughs> he, he did take a little bit of a negative look at Steve coming in with a black jacket on. I wondered if that was the fireman. Mm, maybe. You're wonderful. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, he's a good boy. He's very handsome. Anything else? Let's see. What else can I talk about? They're not typing. Um, all the puppies got roundworm today, so that was fun. 
Thank you for all my helpers with that. Do you have any idea of when Noelle will be in heat? Um, Good Lord. Yes, actually, I do. I keep track of her cycle. Um, she's she's due to come in sometime in March. I don't... She's, for the most part, she's pretty regular every six months, so we'll see. It's up to Carlene if um, she wants to breed her or not. I'd like her to be bred to Walter, but um, that's just me, so... <laughs> Let's see. She's this person's asking how important is it for the recipient to be able to care for their dog, even the young ones like Bella. But what about when the person can't? I'm thinking about Shannon and Zeke's story in the DD and Hunter surgery today. Is there a secondary person trained specifically for these times, or is it just a take it as you come and handle it the best way you can? Best way? Best way you can, really. I mean, I feel like a lot of these people that get our dogs have a big support system, and a lot of them are involved here when with the bonding process. Um, so... I, like, I just had a text from JJ and Kathy, and um, they have Dory. And JJ was wondering, Kathy was sick and didn't want to leave, but Dory had a vet appointment, and so she called me to ask if it was okay for her to take Dory to the vet. And I said, yes, that's fine. Like She's like, have they been together long enough? Am did I, I going to ruin anything? Did I so. read anything bad about that being at the hospital, Shannon? I, I thought the dog stayed with her in the hospital. He did. I got a really cute photo, too. Yeah, yeah. he was... He was great. Yeah, he went with her. So. No, you just keep the, the dog as close to the person as possible. Yeah. That's all. Have you noticed any star students in the other litters? Um, of course. Yes. They're all special <laughs> in their own ways. Everybody, um, every puppy's different in every different setting. So we do have a lot of good ones out there. It'll just take a matter of time. Uh, what is a fun moment? What was a fun moment today with the pokies? A fun moment. You, I would. If you wormed them yesterday and you took them today, it was fun that you didn't have any problems in the supermarket. A fun moment. Well, I, it's kind of fun. I took Tumblr out, um, had her out in the grocery store. Dog was great, perf perfect pace, did everything I wanted her to do. Not, didn't seem out of the normal at all. I get back, put her in her pen, and then Grace yells to me. She goes. Meg, did you see that? I was like, see what? She goes, Tumblr just had explosive diarrhea all over the all over the hill. I was like, oh no. Like, I was like, good thing she didn't do that to me in the store. That's so, a fun thing then. But we um, definitely are prepared if that happens anyways. So it wouldn't be the first. Let's just say that. Um, will Bentley need retrain? I think Bentley's definitely going to need um, some help to get back up to his status that he was, especially in entering right. elevators. He's really going to need um I'm not sure I have enough hands. guts to put him in an elevator. Yeah. I was oh, actually, Lord. I was talking today to with Margaret. We were just chatting about it, and I was like, we should probably just try and continue to take, like, even if it's just a Home Depot, like, just something oh, yeah. to keep him in line, because we don't want him to... No. He has to, we'll try our best to have him get over No, but it, when he starts know. walking along, looking at the ground, you think, yeah. oh, dear. yeah. That's so well, I've, I've often wondered if we should put a square of metal on the ground and tell him no, so he gets to know what he's looking for. Carlene, do you have any follow-ups with your doctor for your knee anytime soon? Well, yeah. Eventually, yeah. <laughs> Stitches in it. Um, anything special for Bentley to build his confidence back? It's just going to be to take him out, um, keep him, try and keep him in the same routine. He's fine if he's leaning on me. Yep. Um, is Frenzy back for vacation or more training? Frenzy's here for training. Um, he's with Colleen for the weekend. Uh, Lainey, so far, is going to be kept as a breeding female, so that's true. We're going to keep her intact. You never know when you need an intact female around. Well, that's true. You don't, but keep her trained. Oh, yeah. Definitely keep her, in, keep keep her in training. Um yeah, we'll introduce right. Bentley to an elevator again. That'll happen eventually. Um, I don't know about uh, that. <laughs> Hi, Megan. <laughs> you I may not get me in an yeah, elevator. Yeah, if I, I had I'll fallen go forward, yeah. we'd both be dead. Mm -hmm. I fell backwards, and in falling backwards, he had old man. I pulled him out. Mm -hmm. If I'd fallen mm -hmm. forward, we'd both be dead. I am happy and excited for Hunter. Definitely, this surgery is a big surgery for him. I know since I've met him, he's been dreading this surgery. It's a big, it's a big thing. Um, 
I know that he was really nervous about it, so hopefully everything goes smoothly. I don't think I'll have to work with Wendy. Um, I don't think we'll have, unless we come across a problem, then they'll come to us and we'll fix it. He's going to be wheelchair, isn't he? Yeah, he'll be in a wheelchair for a while, yeah. How did Magnus get his name? Magnus got his name um, you, because I I say I gave birth to him in the van. I, Noelle gave birth to him in the van, and I was right there. <laughs> and I always wanted um, I always wanted a dog named Magnus. I have a whole running list on my cell phone of puppy names, and I go th- anytime throughout the day. I constantly I'll pull out my phone and I'll add a name. Like recently, Miles has been a big one in my mind for some reason, and Thor stuff like that. So, um, but Magnus was just a name that I liked. And he came out, and I just said, this is Magnus, and then that's how it happened. So that was... <laughs> if a service dog poops on a carpet when you're out, what do you do? I actually am pretty prepared for that. With a really thick cardboard um, that's like the cereal boxes is the best because you can actually scrape at the carpet and get it up pretty good. So I just use the carpet, and then I have rags. I have some wet wipes that I'll usually no. clean it up. Um, I'll tell you, put your hand down in front of her. You can just wipe her nose a little bit. You Stop using your muscles to control the dog. Oh, good. Good. Hunter is done. His surgeon said his bones look really strong. We'll be able to see him in recovery soon. Thanks for all your thoughts and prayers. That's great. That's a good note to end on. Hunter's surgery went well. So, good. Okay. All right. Yep. It's 5.03. 5.03, you're at, out of here. Have fun at mail call. And I'll see you tomorrow for more questions. So. Okay. All right, bye guys. We're on. All right. We are. Flowers. Did you get those? Yeah, Steve brought those for me. Very nice. Oh. 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 Here, you can steal this stool. I'd rather have that one. Oh, excuse me. No, 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 no. Are you kidding me? I'll never get up out of it. <laughs> or I'll fall asleep one of the other. <coughs> now, wait a minute. Uh oh. What are we doing? I'm trying to get the stool in here. Well, there. There you go. There you go. Okay. okay. All right. Let's get this stool. You got salt and pepper. That's salt and pepper. I have my lunch. lunch. Essentials. Yeah. Your, your letter, thank you for the flowers. You're welcome. You're welcome. Okay. <coughs> oh. Hey, it's it's with no desk over here. I something like that. I put the basket. Where's the, the basket? Yeah. Oh, there it is. You got the basket. Olivia's going to carry it over. Oh, I'm gonna... <laughs> <laughs> there you go. I've done that before. <laughs> okay. Yesterday's mail, we had this particular present of yours. I have no idea what this is. But everybody said, Stable now! Oh, it looks like a, some type of a kazoo or something. We didn't open it. We left it for you. I'm not quite sure how it goes. <laughs> okay. Press the, press the nose flute firmly against your nose and mouth. Place your lower lip at the very bottom of the noise flute. That must be there. <laughs> I'm a perfect person to play with this. <laughs> All right, I'm going to drive the dogs crazy, so I'm not going to do that right now. Okay, but okay. you got the idea. Yeah, we'll, we'll play with that. Thank you. Who was that from? I have no idea. I forgot. Thank you from whoever. I forgot. Can't remember anything. Sometimes you can't remember anything. Yeah. That goes yeah. in there. Yeah. And see, I'm doing better today because I'm going to attempt to open all these myself. Because yesterday I had trouble. I would be glad to open them for you. You better do that. Because, you know, it's not... Well, maybe. That's not bad. I want you to, I'll do it. It hurts. <laughs> well, you might not do them fast enough, though. Oh, come on, please. Come on. <laughs> I don't even, Where's the board? I don't even know where the board is. Well, that's your problem. I'm not inside the board. <laughs> <laughs> well, Open your own damn mail. No, 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 no
Wonderful. Happy Valentine's Day. Look at that picture. Isn't that a picture to have? That's a good one. That's a good one. You bury your letter open. Yeah. Well, see if you can get these envelopes coming right along. Coming right along. Who's going to do the writing? You're gonna, why don't you sit over there? Yeah, you mind? <laughs> Thank you. This is Emmett. Give me the, the board. There we go. That's not this is a good one. Treasurer and Receiver General. Oh, oh boy. I know what this is. I know what this is. I've been trying to get $101, $102 out of my ex-husband's bank account. Oh, is that right? I don't know. That's what it all hey, means. Have you had any success with that yet? None. No, no. Absolutely not. Oh, my God. Returned to the Commonwealth of Massachusetts. Carlene White. That's me. Oh, it's not it's seven dollars ninety one cents, and then a utility deposit of seventy nine thirty three. New England Telephone. We need the following to process your claim. Oh, great! Give this to Teresa. <laughs> we have to give this to Teresa. Or Linda, as the case may be, right oh, now. Linda. <laughs> you didn't learn very fast, did you? Sorry. Thank you. <laughs> Aren't you close to you? Uh oh. There we go. Okay. Uh, this is a bill. This is fun. Yeah, you know what? I'm opening everything. Well, you've got to open everything. <laughs> this is a bill. I think I complained about this yesterday. They don't tell you what it's for, but it's a bill. I'm going to put that on there. Ready? Go. Up. There we go. This one? This one. This one. Dolores Cohen. Thank you so much. Whoops, wait a minute. You didn't properly open this one. Oh, excuse me. You must have a defective opener. Well, it must be. Well, it's all sorts of deflecting colors in there. Okay, now uh, here we go. Thank you so much for the extra calendar. Apparently, <laughs> <laughs> sent out a few extra calendars. It closes $25 to cover the cost of postage. What a nice surprise. I do try and catch mail call when home and enjoy even a minute of it. Thanks for all you do. Doris, well, isn't that wonderful? Thank you. People have been very nice about sending us the, the money when we were sending too many of what they ordered. I just, um... They give them to somebody else? I'm sorry, I didn't know this was going to be a pajama party today. I would have worn mine, you know? Well, you didn't have to tell them these are my pajamas. Well, it's pretty obvious. <laughs> they don't have clothes like this. They do? Yeah. Where? <laughs> Around here. In Ken. No, I, I, I'm sorry, Canadians. <laughs> no, I just couldn't put anything big on my knee. My cause. Corporate like Employee Giving Program. Okay, I'm still trying here. Here we go. Get this one. Your cause. Corporate Giving Program. Texas. On behalf of an employee at AT&T who participates in employee giving, whatever, your cause, huh? It doesn't say who it was. Well, maybe Teresa can figure that out. But at any rate, there, I'm going to put the check in here. She'll find it eventually. And this is from Texas. <coughs> this. I didn't see a Herald in Wanda today. No? The stars must be... I don't know. I don't know. I just read today's uh, Daily Doggy, and I'm both relieved and concerned for you and Bentley. Please get yourself checked out thoroughly, and please rest. Then rest some more. Doc George will take care of Bentley. He's got pretty good advice for dog bites, too. <laughs> He's probably the county expert. This is for four chicken bricks. Two for you and two for Bentley. The behavior of Bentley and chaos is proof of service dog training. That's really nice. Your behavior testament is grit and common sense. I'll tell you, it was something else again. I don't know how much singing I did. It was just sort of, do it! And then I fell backwards. And he hung on. So we made it. I'll be lucky, actually. Oh, my God. I thought it was, if, we, if I fall forward, we'd both be dead. Because I would have maintained, I would have made contact with the sidewalk. That was the problem. Yeah. 
it was a contact with yeah, the we're, sidewalk we're grounded. connected to the floor of the elevator, which was the short out that was electrocuting us. However, we made it. On to the next problem. $50 for five chicken bricks for January. Love watching the cans. Susan Hastings. Okay, I'll put that in the chicken brick department, and if you win, we'll have February, to find out what your address is. That would be for February, correct? Yep. No, it's it went up now. Ouch. What? Whatever it is. We already did January. Huh? Never mind. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to. I don't want to. It's over. That's the one we bought in December and hatched in January. Ah. First part of January. Chicken bricks, two. Okay, $20, two chicken bricks. I'm an inspiration to me. Oh, good. I'm certainly glad. Connie Smith. Wonderful. Ah, got that in there. And this goes over. There we go. See, now, Olivia, see, now you know what I go through. Uh, another, <laughs> another, another weak hair from the post yeah, office. Yeah. Damaged mail. Damaged mail. Yes, ma'am. Uh, kind of. <laughs> Don't worry, we'll let you know. <laughs> we got a, we got a fire extinguisher. Hang a rope right out the window. You good? In, in our property, you should all know this. There should be a fire extinguisher at every door. So as you're running out the door to get out of the fire, you grab the thing. And if you have a chance of going back in and putting it out, by all means. But in the meantime, get out of the house. And that's why they are at every door. And they should be at every door. And as you go through the door, look at them. Just make sure that they've been looked at and they're on green. Well, not that for electric. That Sounded good to me. There we go. Oh, thank you. What is this place to do? What was this? Um... What are we looking for? I just wanted the just donation, just a card. The card, the, the, these Better. things. They did those things. Card. I'm gonna move some stuff here. Mm -hmm. That's what. That, that's what's happening. Is when when every move you make hurts, you don't make any extra moves. Well, then don't. Well, that's why. Stuff is piling up like there's my curlers. <laughs> yeah, I noticed that. I thought maybe you left them there no. for me, but I'm, I'm good, thanks. <laughs> what do we got? Karen Coughlin. Insperity. Walk this. Uh, she, told, she mentioned this to me. And I've forgotten what else she told me. But she did tell me something. I'll put it over here. Ooh, I see something good in here. <laughs> now you're not supposed to see it before I do. That's cheating. I saw on. nothing. Oh, no. Can't remember nothing. So there you go. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> you're right, though. There we go. Oh. <laughs> we, were, we were a little bit short on this kind of stuff, but we're back in business now. <laughs> Ooh. Seven pounds. <laughs> Woo! Yes. There we go. Evidence. Oh. Take it on a Walden and Avenue Saga for barn raising. Oh. Oh, this is a picture. Ouch. Hey, hey. You want me to get it? I'm getting it. Hey, okay. Hey. Is there a picture? Where's the picture? Oh, there we are. Certainly. There's a picture of Rex Trailer. Oh, okay. When, when I did the barn raising in Saugus, which I don't know whether everybody knows that story. Do I don't know if you told that one or not. Okay. Well, I, could, I could tell that story. I think we should. Let's get around to that one. I'm not sure everyone outside of our area knows who Rex Trailer is, though, but that's all right. These Boston's Roy Rogers. Thirty-seven. With four chicken bricks. Save them the thing. This is the next. The okay. next one. Thirty-seven. Thirty-seven and three dollars for chicken bricks. Okay, we got that part. Four chicken bricks. Seven. 
I'm gonna have Ouch. You alright? Yep. Karen. I'll put that in here. So if you win, Karen, we're gonna need your name because I didn't think of that. Please apply to 37 and 3. Purchase a four chicken drinks. The check was for volunteer dinner and I am not about not to use it. Please accept the dollar for the fun fund and who pickers from my sales staff. An environmental cleanup project. Wishing you all the best. Thank you. Karen from Insperity. She was at the party. Karen Coughlin. Coming. There we go. Yeah, I That's this. there. You got that? Yep. That first one, Olivia, I didn't get. So, hang on. There we go. That's, 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 oh, yeah. that's, that's a funny piece yeah, of paper. Really From Luann, solved. So, wait, that was not here. Bradford Drive, Bloomfield, Michigan. Wait, was that man in here, right? Okay. Hope this will keep you covered with poop poopers, <laughs> poopers sure. for a while. I'm coming to <laughs> Boston in February and hope that I may be able to stop it. So of course you can. Take care with everyone. Luann. Hope I may. And hope that I may be able to stop at service. So of course you can. Get over here. You get to work out of here for at least a couple hours. <laughs> okay, here we go. You got that? Ah! These are all pooper scoopers. Wonderful. Yeah, we'll go through it more just to make sure it is. Yeah, okay, and that can go over there. Again. I'd be lost without you, Steve. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Ready? Oh, your chocolate. Sorry. <laughs> oh, this is the kind of that shall not be mentioned. This is from the Oh, I see what these are. These are the tiny little ones oh, that we watch love. Watch watch be careful. Don't talk about, we're not going to show everybody. These are the tiny little bone-shaped things, mini, <coughs> that we have taken to break them in half so that they can be put in the funny machines over there. But these are wonderful. Thank you very much. Who came to us? Puppies like them, too. Eileen. Have to figure Cap it out? Caps. No, she, Olivia has it. Olivia has it. Well, why does she have it? I don't because know. Because I can't find it. <laughs> There you go. She didn't put her name in there the way we should. So well, that was very nice. There it's there. You can have it. There. So now this one. I can't tell whether these are like envelopes stuck to these or just mailing. Put the mailing label. Wait, I'll just, I'll just take, take a nap. Here. Take a nap. I did that. I left all that so far. Good, that's good. <coughs> Stuck. And the tape. Is, this is what's happening around me now. The whole place is just happening around me. And I'm really not too sure what's going on. Don't you think, worry about it. If you take enough painkillers, you really don't give a rip. <laughs> <laughs> Don't give a rip. Watch your hands. Yep, I'm watching. Watch your hands. <laughs> and my knee and a few other things. Yes. <clears throat> okay, so here's a letter. Oh, my gosh. Oh, it's a fat letter. You didn't open the letter for me. See, I can't pull that out between those fingers. There's nothing. I didn't know those fingers don't do that anymore. It's a hard don't cheat. I see nothing. I see nothing. No, you mentioned you don't need anyone, any more fluffies, but have had these for a while. They're large, paw fluffed. Might be nice for the overnight volunteers and the others for the Danes for pillows. Huh. Was a lot for my golden retriever. Okay. Huh. 
Okay, so, so my vision is not what it should be, right? <laughs> so what are we kind of seeing here? I thought I was seeing pills. I can't tell from here either. Wait, hang on. It's like the blind leading the room. Aren't they pills? No, I, it looks like a cupcake. Oh, it's pretty as I was. They're jimmies all over the top of a donut. On a donut, even better. I thought they looked like pills. <laughs> Apparently your pain pills are <laughs> keeping your mindset in a certain direction. Uh, <clears throat> dude, my mindset, the rest of you is oof. Have you read this? I did. Did I just read it? I don't know, did you? Let's read it again. Oh, you want to read it? Certainly. Okay, you want to read it? All right. Carlene! If you can. Hang on. <laughs> I'll get this one. This is one, one thing I hate about graduated glasses. You've got to be right at the right angle. See, you know? That's not what's on that card. I just read it. <laughs> it says it right there. Graduated glasses. Oh, no, I didn't see that part. No, you mentioned. Oh, yeah, you did read this. Anyway. <laughs> no, you mentioned you don't need any more fluffies, but have had these for a while. The large paw fluffies might be nice for the overnight volunteers. And the others for the Danes. The pillow pal was from my golden ha -ha. golden retriever. Yeah, I got more here. Ooh, go ahead, read away. But is it too large for a pillow? It must be. <coughs> that must be half a sentence that was somewhere else. I haven't got the other part yet. And pillow it was more in the. Back. I am cleaning closets, and whatever money I find in pockets or purses will find its way to service dog project. That's what all those dollar bills were. She did well. Awesome. She's got a careless person she lives with. That's okay. That's okay. <laughs> That's okay. This is the first installment. <coughs> Lots of ones and haven't even started the coins. Oh, the coins. Oh, good. Please put $10 in the swear bear and the rest yes. of the fun jug. <laughs> all right. Hope yes. all is going well at Crazy Acres. It's a, piece, it's a privilege to be... A part of. <laughs> part of. Of. Something so wonderful. Thanks so much. Squiggles. Squiggles. Columbus stuffed and washed. I can't read that name. Can you read that name? I can't read that name. I cannot read that name. It looks like. It's got to be Dr. Somebody. Kyle? 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 I would have guessed Kyle if I had to say something, but. You said uh, squiggles. Uh, <laughs> geez. Ow. Easy, easy, easy. By the way, I just wanted you to know your little color, you know. What? Cool contrast there on the wrists. You know, color contrast? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> this is what they sent me. Well, you know, they... they no, this is the camera people. These are camera oh, people. Oh, oh okay. I, wait, I didn't think down in here yet. Here, you can try to read the name. I think you can read it better on the part yeah, that you Yeah, I already got it. Is, he, is it Kyle or Kyle or? Uh, here. I think it's Miss Kyle. Up, Kyle. Here we go. One, two. We got other stuff at the bottom here. <laughs> oh, I see. There's a pillow. That's one of those puppy pillows or something. These are all. She said these are flush. These flush. Are, these are flush. They're flushed. Springfield Mass. Rogers. Oh, it doesn't. Kyle. <laughs> Kyle Rogers. Kyle Rogers. Kyle Rogers. Rogers. Goes with Rogers. <coughs> Kyle goes with Rogers. Okay, I well, can have that because I can't throw it away. Oh, thank you. Too much trouble. That's not what it is. Whether it's, it looks. <laughs> it, looks it, looks, it looks like a cross it's between a, a penguin and a cat. Oh, so un <laughs> unzip the bottom and it's a pillow. It's a penguin. I just thought I want to know what kind of animal it was. In 20 minutes of living with Zion, it's not going to make any difference. <laughs> <laughs> she Start loves it. it. Oh, yeah, there we go. Okay. These are nice. Let me look at you like a nice. Yeah, you gonna eat it? I think we're gonna eat it. I put one of these on my bed tonight because I didn't make my bed today. <laughs> <laughs> and I've been in and out of that bed with clothes on, so it's just, you know, yeah. it's not a good thing. It's acceptable when you're injured. You're right. And I'm not happy about it at all. Are you gonna take the box away from me now? I'm leaving. All right, you've got your arms in it. It might okay, get a little tough. Yeah. Go ahead. Anybody want to see them? This is really cool. Oh, somebody hold it up the camera. Come on. Okay. 
This one's like a container, you can fill it with lint. Nice. This is from Amazon Petersburg. <laughs> um, I don't There's see a whole any. bunch of labels here, didn't you? I don't see one in one anywhere. UPS Worma. <laughs> I don't even see our address on it anywhere yet. Yeah, oh, really? Well, that's right here. And there's no name on it. Nothing. It does say somebody. Where? Our friend. Where? Right there. Oh, gimme. Gimme. I don't know. It's either Jimmy or gimme. <laughs> we still haven't. <laughs> She's getting insulted that we can't remember. I can't. I, I can't remember my own name. I mean, <laughs> she's a lovely lady. I'm very pleased. She is. Yeah, yeah. No, this is great. What does this go on? It looks like it goes on a wheelbarrow. Well, look, yeah. That's great. <coughs> we got a wheelbarrow for it to go on. Yeah. yeah. That's great. That's how you spell it. That, yes. Uh, G-I-M-I. G-I-M-I. One no, M. No, no, one M. We can't say it. We at least need to spell it correctly. <laughs> they right. keep they keep sending us the pronunciation too, and we still haven't gotten it right. It's one of those binary things. I don't do binary. I I have two children, and that's a problem. <laughs> <laughs> that. Zero and one. <laughs> there you go. Uh, there you go, bud. <laughs> I'll leave it down here. Oh, we got good directions. Good directions. All right. I'm glad they sent us M&Ms because I don't think we have any supper. Oh, yeah. oh, Maybe we need to just have a little snack right now. This goes on to that cart we did a couple of weeks ago. Oh, really? Yeah, the works. The works cut. Can you uh, oh, reach my. in? Or would, do you want me to put yeah. some in a cup for it? No, I'll just take sure? a few. Okay. Yeah, this is fantastic. It goes on to my cart. Can you make a cabinet? Sure. Thank you. Oh. Mm -hmm. I'm ready. You guys would have known that if you looked at directions. Yeah, but that could still be Gimi. No, this is the pronunciation. G E M E. It's Jimmy. That M&M was hollow. Jimmy. It's Jimmy. Jimmy? Jimmy. Oh, no, it will got got nut in it. They all have nuts in there. They're peanut M&M's. I didn't know that. Yeah, that's what I mean. Okay. Let me get going here. Bailey, Bailey. <coughs> you know, oh, there we go. Okay. All right. Jamie. <coughs> Just waiting for it to come up. Oh. Okay. <coughs> <coughs> you know, since I hate I hate to tell you this, but. Since you took that other modem out, the 466 network is gone. Really? It wasn't plugged into anything. Um, then we should check the, uh, the uh, routers later. Okay. Anyway, for another time. All right. I'm going to back up a little because Certainly we... not for right now. <coughs> no. <coughs> you okay? Want me to get it? 
leave me alone. All right. I'm not old. I'm going to do it myself. I'm just trying to help. I'm just trying to help. Now I'll spill it all over you. <laughs> there we go. I got it. All right. <clears throat> all right. I'm ready. I don't know how far to go back, so. Hmm. <laughs> it's, um, this was 14 minutes ago, and it's not light at all out. It's dark. Um, um, Tina says, currently, 1,450, this was 13 minutes ago, 1,457 bricks have been bought from a total of 2,100, about 69%. Wow. That's Again, great. Man. That's great. That's great. That's great. We're live for another month. Um, Did you hear about my cake business? Oh, boy. Did you read the Daily Doggy today? I did read it today. I can't remember whether I put it in there or not. <laughs> <laughs> did I put it in the Daily Doggy? Yeah, At any rate. You did. I'll look it up right now. I think that it would be possible for the 19th of the month for everybody to buy a spectacular cake. That's some, just oh, some little old take cake. Take it to it. A nice, big, spectacular cake and take it to your local fire department just to celebrate the 19th. See if we can't get some sort of 19th going here. And I, I said that in the next couple of days, I would try and write something to put on a piece of paper to go with the cake to sort of explain that we're not really nuts. We're just playing around. No, we're nuts, too. <laughs> well, that's all right. <laughs> but uh, I had some good idea. Yeah. yeah. Well, do you know where the 19th but, came from? No. No. I would love to hear this. Go then on. Tell them. It's an old boyfriend. Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. Hang on. Let me get comfortable. Yeah, okay, go ahead. <laughs> a guy in Scotland that I dated in Scotland when I was there in 1957. He all of a sudden one day decided that, that he needed to be more cheerful. At least one day a month. Uh, because any more than that was just too much effort, so... But he was going to be extremely cheerful on the 19th of the month, and that was, and he was, it was funny. It was funny. I mean, he got going. How did he choose the 19th? I don't know. Well, so this is important. No, he just kind of <laughs> pulled it out of the sky, the 19th, you know. Okay. And uh, <coughs> uh, he made a point of it every month, the 19th. And it was cheerful day, and it was, it was ridiculous, but it was <laughs> That's what Scotland was about. They, they made fun out of nothing. We had a car over there that never did run. We pushed it. We pushed it to go get pizza. So we get to the bottom of a hill, and absolute strangers would come and help us push it up the hill. Then we'd all ride in the car down the hill, and we'd go on. <laughs> you know. That's great attitude. And, and we did not drink. There was no drinking, and there was one guy in the group that smoked. Nobody had any money. That's why. But it was it was a different crowd of people than here in the United States. I'll tell you. <coughs> They got out of high school with our college education, and then they went on to university. So if I came out of two years of college here and tried to join the third year over there, I was lost. But I was allowed to join the physics society, and I was more or less their mascot. <laughs> and they pushed me around the car. <laughs> there were some really bright people in that group, too. I bet. That went on to, one of them went on to design the program needed for to organize the planes, trains, engineers, equipment, blah, 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 all the way down the line. And that was back in about the 60s sometime, and I think they're still using much of that program today. <coughs> he was made Sir, Sir Tony out of that one. Really? He's in the United States now somewhere. Hmm. Do you ever keep in touch with any of those people oh, at all? Yeah. When? Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> Gwen was one of my roommates. Um, she's the one that traveled around Germany with me. And all we had was a, a rail pass and a list of Great Dane kennels by zip code. So we'd go into a train station and we'd look at the trains. We couldn't speak German. We'd look at the train and say, that's a pretty one. We'll get on that one. So we'd get on that one. Then we'd try and get the guy to tell us where we were going. <laughs> what zip code are we going to? And that led to a lot of interesting conversation. But we got around. It's funny. We got around. Um, J. 
Janet Singles from Canada says, maybe give the puppy pillow to Audrey for a new toy. <coughs> Yesterday, um, I've already forgotten. <laughs> it's Jimmy, right? Jimmy. Okay. All right. Jimmy signed Jimmy or Anonymous <laughs> yesterday. Yes, you did. Anonymous. <laughs> Anonymous. That That's was easier. a very good one. Mm. I can pronounce that. I like that. And someone had some Jimmy, like G Wiz. There we go. Okay, I got that. All right. Mm -hmm. I'm going to, I'm going to, it's in the locker. I'm going to remember it. <laughs> right. <laughs> Well, the other thing I forgot to do was was to thank, oh my, for dinner last night. <laughs> thank oh my? Or is that oh, Omar? It's one of those names that begins with an R and has a bunch of E's in it. Re! I, I know her in person. <laughs> Not very well. can't apparently. remember the name that goes with it. <laughs> R with one E. Huh? I don't you, you don't know either, huh? R with E. I don't know what that... R-E-E-N-E. -E -E. Renee. 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 Uh, well, that's one of the R's. <laughs> well, there's a bunch of names that begin with that. Who else we have? Renee. Regina. 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 Is there, is there one of them that... Is there a Regina that goes by the name Renee? I don't know. Yeah, no, right. Isn't Regina, and then you call her Renee? Is no, that no, Renee, no, Regina's Pomo. But didn't you call her Renee once? Yeah, yeah she's referred to her as Renee. Yeah. Maybe that's the one. Yeah, yeah. Maybe that's why I'm confused. Yeah, you changed her name for her. <coughs> yeah, you called her Renee. Okay. Oh, so okay. Maybe that's Renee. I think yeah, it was her. Yeah, we called her. All right. Yeah, we called in the... It's a good thing you're here. We need young people credit with card. functioning <laughs> minds. <laughs> <laughs> she's young. I know. She'll go nuts. Barb Heist says that, that Scoop attaches to a wheelbarrow when the poop gets really deep. <laughs> <coughs> that is one pooper scooper. Here, take the back. The whole thing? Take the whole thing. Because if you don't, I'll leave. I won't complain. Uh-oh. Nice going. Someone said, Carlene has no supper. <laughs> no leftovers? <laughs> Regina, no leftovers? <laughs> no, there is actually. Oh, okay, we'll have leftovers. Here we go. Did Devin take Gronk home for the weekend? If so, how did he make out? How did Liv make out with Lainey overnight? Lainey was good. You should have asked Megan that. I don't know. I did not hear any problems. <coughs> yeah, Lainey mm -hmm. was fine. Okay. There are 47 more new questions. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So sit back and take a deep breath and... AJ says she brought brought a cake to her local firehouse. All right, AJ. Good for you. <clears throat> All right. What'd they say? They no. said, so thanks. <laughs> <laughs> I, okay. don't, I don't know. She doesn't say. I'm sure she will let us know, though. AJ is thinking about coming, too, I guess. If she can, she's going to try yeah. to. Next month, I believe, she said. Well, she's waiting until we have 12 feet of snow. <laughs> <laughs> By you know, like, what was it that came last year? Was, uh... I don't know. <laughs> mm. Keep going. <laughs> okay. Um, <coughs> did we ever get a readable copy of the Ipswich Neighbors Magazine article? Oh, I totally forgot about that project. Mm. I could scan it for you and then send it back and you can put it on the website. Go ahead. Okay, well, I need a magazine. So. <laughs> Who's got a magazine? <coughs> Linda! What? Have we got a magazine of that Ipswich magazine? Online or hard copy? <coughs> I don't know. Hard copy. <coughs> hard copy. <coughs> All right, Trixie Lou posted this. This is what AJ wrote when, uh, this morning when she took a cake to her nearest firehouse. So I'd like to just take a moment of your time and tell you a quick little story. My name is AJ, and I volunteer with a lovely organization called Service Dog Project based out of Ipswich, Massachusetts. You may have heard mention of them in the news as the AKC's Ace Award for Service Dog of the Year 2015 was presented to one of our dogs named George. His recipient, Bella, 
is a wonderful, charming 11-year-old girl with Morchio syndrome, a very rare progressive order. Da, 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 da. Um, and the story is all over the internet. The founder of Service Dog, all right, just try not to let it go uh -oh. too, you know. The founder of Service Dog is an amazing, she gives your age, um, old lady, uh, <laughs> 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 named Carlene White, who has dedicated her life to making the world more easily accessible to those with mobility issues by training Great Danes to replace their canes and crutches. This past Monday, she decided to test the subway system in Boston to see if they really are if they really are handicapped accessible. She left one Dane in the car and took her service Dane Bentley, excuse me, with her. As he entered the elevator to go to the platform level, he screamed out in pain and dropped to the floor, writhing in pain and snapping at the air. She attempted to come to his assistance. She could feel the electricity emanating from the ele elevator. She quickly dropped to the floor, reaching to, to grasp on him. Unfortunately, he managed to bite her numerous times, and eventually she was able to drag his 160-pound body out, literally by his teeth around her wrist. Oh, really? <laughs> Fortunately, the first responders were gracious enough to have one of them drive the car with both Great Danes to the hospital so they could join her in the emergency room. <coughs> um, after many examinations and wellness checks, they both seem to have fared well, as can be expected from the ordeal. In a show of appreciation, she has requested that we, her loyal supporters and volunteers, imi imitate her today as she will be bringing them a cake to show her gratitude. So for all you wonderful first responders, please accept this cake from us as thanks for always being there for us when you when we need you most, regardless of your own safety. If you would like to learn more about this incredible woman and her worthy cause, please visit their live cams on explore.org. SDT's website can be find, found it, and she gives the address. Thank you. That is very well written, AJ. Nice, uh, nice job. They're copying it here for Kevin. Nice job. Oh, did you? Yeah, yeah I'm going to copy it, too. And AJ writes very well. Yeah, she does. I've seen other letters of she writes well, but she talks like a New Yorker. No, I'm just <laughs> kidding. I'm kidding. What a shame. Why don't you put them over on the candy thing before we go through the whole damn bag? <laughs> no, 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 no. Keep it. No. You want some? No, 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 no. I had enough, really. Thank you. <clears throat> Olivia, when did you start at SDP? Um, back in May, at the end of May. In the merry month of May. Mm hmm. The lusty month of May. <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> the lusty month of May. The lusty month of May? May that was May, the parvo. The lusty month of May. <laughs> what is that from? Uh, Camelot. Is it really? Yes. <laughs> or Spamalot? Camelot. Okay. <laughs> <coughs> well, let's have a good time over there. Let's have fun. Between throwing things in the fire and assembling the uh, shovel. Well, he just, he just, he just made my... My tiny little car charger <laughs> work too. Oh, nice! You've been very busy all all day. <coughs> um, can No, I don't. AJ didn't send one to the fire department who took care of you. She took one to her local her fire local department. Fire department. I have checked with the fire department that took care of me. It was not Melrose. It was Malden. And the crew that was there is going to be there. Linda found out when, and so I want to take it when the crew. Oh yeah, is that's, the right that's crew nice. is there. So yeah. we're going to do that. That's a good idea. That's nice. <clears throat> I still owe food to my uh, my physical therapy group too. I will, I will be down. I know one of the one of the ladies watches. <coughs> I will be down. I have to find out when the guys are working together. How is Leroy? Leroy is nice. I'm trying to think he of a proper good. job for Leroy. How about mattress tester? There you go. <laughs> That's a good one. <coughs> well, you know, since we don't have we don't have access to Fido, who's buried out beyond the trees, and Bailey, who's really not up for being a demo dog or helping people walk. Mm -hmm. Bentley's a little fussy now. Um, it'll take him a while to recover. It'll take him a while to recover. And I'm I'm needing a dog to 
you, when somebody comes up the drive, well, here, try this. Well, I always have them try putting their band in the back pocket of whoever they're with. And that's sort of a way of trying it. But I need a really steady dog to walk a straight line. And that would be about his only requirement, because we're not going to do stairs and things here. Mm -hmm. uh, but just to see whether we can actually get somebody up and on their feet walking with a dog. Does that surgery affect his peripheral? or is it? I don't know. You don't know? Mm -hmm. We're not too sure about all the eyesight thing, but <laughs> he will need to have eyesight for that stuff. <laughs> if he can just walk a straight line, he's got it made. And, and in the <coughs> meantime, if, if we happen to figure out who could take him up to Pease to be a Pease breeder, that'd be another job for him. That would be great, yeah. And um, Joyce can bring him up there. <laughs> That name I was trying to keep out of the conversation. Lou can bring him up there. <laughs> Sorry. I'm having a problem with every... Well, you know, he, he would make a service dog, I'm pretty sure, even if he did have this eye trouble. But, you know, we th there are places we need dogs that do a specific thing, <coughs> along with being service dogs, to get to get the service dog bit going straight. Yeah, no, that's true. And that is one of them. We, need, yeah, he we would do need a demo dog. He certainly has the uh, temperament for it. Yeah. He certainly likes to sleep. Yeah, he does that. He's nice and friendly. You don't have to worry about him. You know. So, Pom Mom, otherwise known as Regina, says she's Regina Renee Rebecca. There you go. Why do I have trouble? <laughs> and, yeah. There we go. Okay. Did, did, she, did she say I said it right? She didn't say. She didn't say. Um, I should have thanked her yesterday, but I, I was a little under the weather yesterday. <laughs> Camelot Pat Patricia says, you must have multiple siblings, and then Puppy Love says, or multiple personalities. <laughs> but all of them are sweethearts. So there you go. All right. I don't think I can play the piano with this hand. Doctor, doctor, I can't play the piano now. Well, that's okay. I couldn't play before. Right? There's a lie. <laughs> it's one of those things. Jesus. Yeah. I wonder if I gain weight because it's fat. Am I going to lose weight when that weight goes down? When the fat hand goes down? I can't, is that your concern? Is that your big concern right now? Well, Besides, you know what? You should keep that elevated. Well, I was doing that. I was sitting here like that. There yeah, yeah, was nothing should. to do. Yeah, you should keep it elevated. I know that because it's I mean, you have enough it. things to hang it from here, for God's sakes. I mean, God. You know why? <laughs> it, looks like, it looks like the orthopedic ward. In a, in a <laughs> right. <laughs> okay. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Did the news station call back? No. Those rat buggers. No. Saved a dollar. <laughs> I was supposed to get a form from the MBTA regarding bodily injury, and I did not get that today either. Yeah, I would. I'm a little annoyed about that. Yeah, you would. I would follow up on that one. Don't follow up on it. it Absolutely. It, it should not have happened. <coughs> it was lucky it happened to me. Call the governor. It could. Call the attorney general. <laughs> It could, it could be that a person in a wheelchair would be fine if the person pushing had sneakers on. But it was the fact that Bailey, Bentley, was grounded with his with rear end on the sidewalk and his front paws already on that metal elevator. That, that was the grounding loop. And then when right. he fell in and got all spastic and screaming and yelling and carrying on and I reached in to get him, I completed the other loop because I was still on the sidewalk. But I wonder, if someone went in in a wheelchair and they touched the side, if they would... I don't know, because it would, it, that's not necessarily grounded. It's not grounded. It but certainly was grounded when I was sitting in the water puddle. Yeah, oh, yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I've had experience You were very with, lucky. I was very lucky. Very lucky. And he held on to my arm. God, I don't think he could let go. He was so spastic. He got out, he, he was very embarrassed. He felt terrible. He just stood there, right, and I kept leaning on me. But he kept trying to lick up the blood. <laughs> Poor guy. <laughs> it was bad. Barb High says, Carlene's feeling pretty good today. No, she feels like caca, but she's putting on a good front. <laughs> it's just all the afternoon. <clears throat> um, Carlene, did, this is Susan, Luke, and Zeus. Hi, Susan. Um, sorry, Susie. Um, did, you ever get, did you ever conquer the Sudoku cube my husband and I gave you for your birthday? No. <laughs> get back to it. No, no, I do the Sudoku pan on paper. <laughs> I have it on my desk. I play with it, but I... it's paperweight. 
there are things about it I did not know. Is if, a, if a number is in the center there, it stays in the center. You cannot get it out to the side. So there. Okay. I learned that much. Never tried. M.D. Karen says, Carlene, I played in Camelot in 1969, HS high school production. Was in the chorus and also played Morgan Le Fay. Okay, is it the lusty month of May? I don't know. Can you tell us? Is it the lusty month of May? Oh, wait. Here it is right here. Um, when Julie Andrews Guinevere and uh, Trala... Wait a minute. <coughs> Here. Okay, That's I don't know the tune, so lucky for you. <coughs> Tra la, it's May. The lusty. This is my. There you my, go. My, we got my, it. You can quit now. We found out what we wanted. Oh to no, know. but it goes on. <laughs> I know it does. Don't <laughs> it for half an hour. Yeah, but I was born in May. I mean, so we we, we should well, read we'll try this. it in May. Okay. When it gets to be May, you can sing. I, I'm gonna save it. Okay. I'm gonna save it. <laughs> you're not getting away. You're not getting out of this. Just so you know. I would just answer one word. It started the whole thing. <laughs> Bugs almost got the shovel put together. <clears throat> All right. <clears throat> Bentley went to the barn and trotted around down there and ran around down the barn today. That's a good thing. <clears throat> Someone asked if you'll ever try to have Bentley go in an elevator, but you talked about that. I'm not sure. I, yeah, you I'm talked not. about that with Megan. I mean, I don't want him standing there looking at me like, are you kidding me? You know? I mean, that dog talks to you. <laughs> I don't like what he says sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> Lisa, he's right, you know? Lisa ATL wants to know, if, I'm, I'm, I'm assuming she's putting this out to everyone, can you get pictures with the crew when you deliver the cake? Please and thank you. That would be up to them, I would suppose, whether yeah, they, they would want do, that. They can do what they want. Yeah. It's a um, funny thing, so therefore they may. Our dear with. friend Marilyn, hello Marilyn, wants to know if Audrey could be used as a demo dog as well. She's not as strong as this beast. This is a big dog. <laughs> this is a big hunk of dog. Call him a beast. He can hear you right now. No, he can't. He's sound asleep with the <laughs> I apologize if I uh, miss some here. I'm going. Uh, I'm having to go way back. So, um, Ginny from Oregon says, "Proper job for Leroy. Give him a girlfriend." <laughs> no, no more girlfriend. No girlfriend. No girlfriend because of the eye problem. <clears throat> Karen from New Hampshire says, "Let us know when you go to P so I can be there to to get there because she's right down the street." Oh, well, uh, Joyce does that. They, there is a Peace Greeters uh, website, and they list when the incoming and outgoing... Oh, is that right? Uh, yeah. Oh, okay. I was wondering how she, if she was on, uh, like, a, a call list or something. And the like. incoming is generally where they just get on a different... You know, they need more gas or something, and that's why they stop. You need more gas? <laughs> well, you know, it's the refueling place or something. So well, there's not a, there's not a bunch of families there. Either. So that they refuel and go feed them all beans, and then they go someplace. Else. Okay. okay. <coughs> Interesting. So I don't think I, I did not see a bunch of families. But is that their first stop back in the country? Yes, it is. It is. Okay. So that's important then for readers to be there. Now, there's that's a whole great. bunch of people, a whole that's bunch great. of people with, with medals on. <coughs> Eva says, "Hey, wait! I'm pushing right behind Carlene and Age, and I'm still able to function on my own." <laughs> Um, well, because Nanaka said, I love Carlene and all, but I really think she should not go into town by herself with or without the dogs. Um, and Puppy Love says, at least while she's on happy pills. <laughs> <laughs> I went on happy and, pills, so I had the problem. <laughs> and then Mayo says, you tell her. And Hila says, no, don't. <laughs> and then Hila says, hey, wait. <laughs> I'm pushing right behind Carlene. <clears throat> I would have been fine. I had gotten electrocuted in the process. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. <clears throat> Has anyone from the management of the elevator contacted you yet to be sure you and Bentley are okay? No. They, they, they said they were going to send me a, a bodily injury form, and I have not gotten it. And I haven't heard from anybody since. You mean damn sure we're not bringing them a cake? Right. <laughs> Here you go. And that's... 
Uh, that was one actually, of those I was sitting on the ground, <laughs> dog, you know, blood all over the place, and there's about eight guys standing there, and I was the one that said to one of them, can we shut the damn thing off? Yeah. And some guy in the back got the key out and shuts it off. <laughs> ah! Yeah, I know. <laughs> Think. You know, hello. Unbelievable. <clears throat> Unbelievable. Huh. Um, Barb says, please read her Bentley piece below. I hope Carlene likes it. How far back, Barb? Because I can't find it. Let me know. <coughs> oh, um. oh I started to go to bed. Yes, Leroy had cherry eye. That's what his surgery was for. Well, he had cherry eye, cherry eye, cherry eye. This is third. <laughs> this is his third eye operation. It, it wasn't cherry, that simple deal. Cherry, now he's minus the baby. he's minus the, the sweat glands, eye. whatever they are. What are they? Yeah. Tear glands. Eyes. Tear. Tear. Glands. Glands. Out. Oh, tear glands. Tear glands. Oh, is tear glands your one? Yes. Two, <laughs> two out of five. Go on. So now does he need to get He's going to have to have drops. Oh, okay. Like how often? I don't know. <coughs> Go ask oh. George. <laughs> oh, feisty. I, uh, you know. Time, time uh, for me I, to go to bed. I am going to find out. Yeah, you should go to bed. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you really should go. I have a huge box of medicines in there, and I have no idea. I'm supposed to be taking pills, and I, I very carefully took the antibiotic and put it in with my Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday pill thing. So I'm on schedule with that because that's the, really the critical one. But I know I've got some sleeping pills and stuff in there, but I can't find them. Susie, Susie says there are tutorials on YouTube that show you how to solve the Sudo Sudoku cube if you're interested. Hi, Susie. When I don't have time, I will. Okay. Um, B. Short from Virginia wants to know, um, Bentley produces such beautiful puppies with a sperm count be affected by the electricity. <laughs> Do you know that... If I anything, they're going to be more wired. They're going to be really... As I'm dragging it out, we finally got out standing up, and I thought, oh, my God, I were in a testicle. <laughs> Just look, they're still there. Good. We're good. Okay. <coughs> Yeah. Usually, usually reproductive organs are... This is the first well, thing you thought of afterwards? It, it was very close. <laughs> <laughs> it was very close. Mind you, I'm still, I'm still trying to bleed to death here. <laughs> With blood oozing out between my blood fingers. Blood squirting out of the wrist. How are his testicles? <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't help. That was a good one. <laughs> I didn't think it was all that funny, did you? Oh, I think it's hilarious. It must be a men thing. <laughs> no, it's just the, the you, whatever. Anyway. <laughs> no, what I was trying to say before I was so rudely interrupted. Yes. Who, who interrupted? Come on. <laughs> is that generally in any animal the reproductive organs are extremely well protected, so that you lose a lot before they lose. <laughs> Okay. okay. Go ahead. <laughs> All right. <coughs> um, that's why. But did you hear the, the new the new virus that's out and around? With, yes. Uh, yes. Unborn children. Yes. Yeah. Very. That's unusual very, for it to affect an unborn. Usually, the unborn does <laughs> fine, and the mother gets. Yeah, very hacked. serious. Very serious. Um, Blue penguin. I had did not have a bad science teacher. I was ag agreeing with what you're saying. So there you go. Oh, here's. Here we go, Julie Andrews, lusty month of May. <laughs> we'll play that in a minute. Right. After I go to bed. All right, this is going to be it when we get to the top here. Uh, please tell Olivia she's doing a wonderful job loving Bentley. There you go. <laughs> He's a good boy. Bentley was very good. He was. He felt awful. And then when I, he could have gone in the. I was. I was already on the stretcher and in the ambulance, and he could have come in with me. And he could have. I mean, he, he should have, et cetera, et cetera. And they, the guys were all ready to have him in the ambulance. But then I saw Chaos, who has been known not to be the nicest thing in the world. And I figured <laughs> if I had Bentley go with her, then maybe she wouldn't bite anybody in the car. So I, ha I asked him to go. I said, go with him. And he turned and looked at me like, you son of a bitch, you know. Why do I have to go with them? But he did. He went over and he left. And then they bought him in the house and he, in the ER and he was fine. But he looked at me like, this isn't right. This is not what I'm supposed to do. Um, someone else is asking, yes, we think he's okay in the reproductive end. 
everything's still there and <laughs> intact. And, but the, uh, the muscles all <coughs> contract on everything, you know, when you're in the process of being electrified. Oh. <laughs> terrible, terrible. I, electric shocks are really uncomfortable like and painful. I didn't like it at all. <coughs> yeah. <coughs> all right. Um, I believe this is what Barb Heist wrote. I'm not sure. It looks long. Yeah, I know. I'll leave it up to you. Should I read it? I'll or should we bed. save it? Why don't you read it after I've gone to I'll, bed? I'll read it after you go to bed, okay. I'll go to bed. Do you want something to eat, though, before you go to bed? You probably ought to I, have something. I had, I had steak dinner about 4 o'clock. Oh, jeez, oh. get out of here. Come on, you're complaining? It was a hit. Come on. my breakfast. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> I don't know. No. I don't know. But see, there's a whole bunch of crap that just gets <laughs> left around. <laughs> I'm just going to pick up my water and go. All right. Well, no. take oh. your happy pills and go to bed. No, they're in the other room. Oh, well, go get I them. I am out of whiskey. Okay. I'll take care of the young uh, brandy this weekend. There's one kind that I like. Let me, let me Was it it's the one that I got you before, right? Yeah, I know. I know what it is. It's Heimann. Is it? Yeah. Mm. Yeah. I'll get it. I'll get it. Well, I don't want to leave the house. I haven't left the house since this happened. Well, you probably shouldn't. I mean, it's... I mean, I well, luckily it's not icy out right now, but it may snow a little bit tomorrow, they said. And um, I haven't gone out to play on the tractor, and I haven't done anything. Are you going to be able to drive the tractor with the hands? I don't know. You want to probably take it easy. My elbow is like the plow. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. You can make sure you stay away from the plow tomorrow. <laughs> She's going to be Who steering with her elbows. Oh, it, I, was in, I was in Lady, Lady Hospital in the in the orthopedic <coughs> department. And the PA there came in, and she came in, you know, going to shake my hand, and she didn't. She stuck out her elbow. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's uh, good. She was thinking fast. <clears throat> um, yeah, no, I'll take care of that. Okay, so <laughs> you're going to remind me next time you're around. I'll tell the, the barn burning story. Oh yeah, yeah. Saturday night. Oh, it's fine. Okay. Now I'm going to think it's just doing. Can you get up? I'm going to try. I'm up. All right. Let me get two on the four. Right. Here we go. Be careful. I'm up. All right. I'll go listen to Donald Trump. <laughs> <laughs> Donald Trump? That's not his name. Okay. Trump. Trump. What the hell's his name anyway? Trump. Oh, you got it right. Trump. Trump. <laughs> go to bed. Bye. <laughs> See ya. All right. So I'm going to read this letter from... I guess... I'm hoping this is the one from Barb Heist, so... Which fire department helped? She said it was Malden, correct? You know what, Steve? Let me answer that. Why? Right, go ahead. So I tracked them down this morning. Yes. And I know which fire department it is. Okay. Um, before everybody wants to send thank yous or whatever, they're right near my house. Uh huh. So I'll go speak to them. Oh, okay. See if they want any. I can't get my <laughs> shirt off. <laughs> I can't help you there. Sorry. <laughs> get my shirt off. Oh, your sweatshirt I can help you with. Well, I'm... Careful! <laughs> um, all right, so if, if hopefully everyone heard Linda. The fire department that held Carlene out is right near her house. So before everyone starts sending anything, she's going to go there and, and thank them and talk to them and then let them know they're going to be deluged with cakes and cards and... <laughs> Sunday. They don't work again so till I Sunday. All right. Sunday. Okay. So, no so, until so let's hold off till Sunday at least. Okay. okay. All right. That's good. Thank you, Linda. You're welcome. That's great. <coughs> Thank you for helping with the sweatshirt. <laughs> I'm not going there. Okay. <coughs> I wasn't right. sure what I was walking into, but. Hi, honey. You okay? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Carl. Puppy Love says, Carlene's expressing her concern over Bentley's testicles would have been right on right in character with her sitting there with his rope leash in her mouth. <laughs> um. Oh, oh, Blue, okay, I sorry, Blue, I misunderstood you. Thousand pardons, thousand pardons. <laughs> yeah, that is a good picture of Leroy. Look at him. Holy mackerel. I have, Eli, I haven't taken any of her happy pills, I swear. 
I'm just a happy guy, you know? Okay. <coughs> um, um, I'm sure Bentley was concerned for his testicles, too. Yes, I'm sure he was. Um, and they're still there. Everything's good. Come on, babe. <coughs> good girl. Take Hi, Bill. Take time. Go ahead. Um, okay. So I think this is the one from Barb High. So I'm going to read this. I'm hoping this is it. This is Bentley's view on what happened. <laughs> Bentley's take on what happened yesterday as told to Leroy. You don't feel good today. Let me tell you about my yesterday. I went out with Miss Carlene and Chaos, and we went to something called the subway. Chaos stayed in the car while we went in the building. We walked up to the elevator thingy, and when the door opened, I walked in like I was taught. Then wham, pain that hurt so bad, I started screaming for Miss Carlene to help me. Oh, good boy, Benny. It, it hurt so bad that I fell. And when Miss Carlene tried to help, she got hurt and fell down. Benny knows we're talking about him. I couldn't stop yelling for help. And then I, I think he doesn't want to relive this, so he's, he's moving into the other room. <coughs> I couldn't stop yelling for help, and then I did something I'm ashamed to admit, Leroy, I bit her. I, I did, and I did it a couple of times. He couldn't help it. I was so ashamed. He, then even with her falling and hurting and bleeding, sniff, she got me up and, up and out. I mean, that was hard to admit. I'm, su I'm supposed to help people get up and move around, not the other way around. Finally, the pain stopped, and I stood up, but Miss Carlene was still bleeding, and it was my biting that made her bleed sob. Oh, good girl, Vale. Hey, baby. Well, she's moving around pretty well, huh? Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, compared to some other times. Good boy, Benny. <clears throat> then when Mama Carlene was fixed, we came home and I went to the vet. The same vet you saw today, George. He said, I'm okay. They just have to watch me for a couple of days. Yesterday was the worst day of my life. You, dear boy, had your eyes done today. <laughs> That's good. All right. Um, uh oh. Is it is it Gila? Am I pronouncing that correct? She says I have a new way of pronouncing her name. Gila? Is it Gila? Isla? 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 How's it spelled? Uh, I L A. Isla? Isla? I don't think I love that. You think I love? I'm sorry. I'm not sure how to pronounce it, but. Come on. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. I'm not sure if Carlene had her neck alarm with her, but she really didn't use it. There were needed. There were people around. And the control box, correct, Tina, is in her kitchen, so it only works there. Correct. And it could have been shorted out by the electricity. Good thought. All right. Oh, good. The trainer talk is up. Thank you, Tuan. Hi, Tuan. <clears throat> um, all right. I think we are done. I think we are fini. Thank you, everybody. Good night. Thank you all for your concerns and for your help and all. And, and oh, and also two things. One. The party was awesome. Um, I ended up leaving a little early because of the snow, but um, but it was great. Thank you all so much for that. It was a wonderful time, and um, we really enjoyed it. Second thing is, Hunter, we're with you, buddy. I hope, you, hope everything went well, Hunter and family, and um, we will be in touch, and uh, I'll send you a joke. Be good, buddy.